Imagine me sitting in my first period April's history classroom, observing my teacher smiling expectedly, asking her students a question. What have you heard on the news lately? A simple inquiry, an icebreaker for a room full of magnet students. But I watched as her expectant smile turned into a tired frown as the room grew dead silent. Finally, I spoke briefly about some news report I heard on NPR about climate change, and my teacher turned her head, nodded her head, asked me about my source, and then turned her attention back to this body of students, awaiting another answer to her original question that she never got. The voter turnout rate amongst black and brown people for the midterms in 2022 dropped 10 percent, and I couldn't help but think that people like my silent peers were the reason why. The ignorant, the uninformed, the cave dwellers of Plato's allegory. I mean, how could someone be so solipsistic, so arrogant, so purely idiotic that they don't take the time to educate themselves on the world around them? But as I began, to absorb the sounds of my high school, and as I began to mentally walk through the places my peers returned to when the bell rings, it all began to make sense. See, if I were them, I'd be thinking things like, what is learning about the war on the Gaza Strip going to be doing for the war right here? I know at the bottom of my head, war is my mother, war is my father, war is the invective shout in all directions, war is empty pockets, war is the trauma that seems to be so genetic in my family, war is having to lie, steal, and abandon morality just to live. What is the use of knowing the year I will die alongside of the sun due to climate change when bullets will reach my chest before the methane does? And you want to know what the most insulting thing probably is? Joe Biden gets to sit at his little podium and ramble on with his old shaky jaw and skin that's falling off the bone about the billions of dollars the United States is willing to allocate to a conflict far beyond our borders. To help a country in need. Joe Biden, we are the country in need. Foreign aid? We need aid here. Better be unborn than untaught, for ignorance is the root of misfortune. Now, Plato said that I wonder if you ever considered the alternative, that misfortune is the root of ignorance. In this cycle of disenfranchisement, of pain that's unprotected, of corrupt communities seen as collateral, what is the use of walking on a path made of terrain not created for my inherent souls? To everyone with this mindset, I would say it is imperative to understand that the path is a road made of intertwined terrain fit for all shoes. The policies that feel so far away from your day-to-day -day pain might just be connected to it. Who decides the age in which you can drive or the over-policing in your communities or the drug laws that might just liberate your lifestyle? And for those of you who have been blessed with the privilege of enlightenment before scoffing at the miseducated as I once did, I implore you to extend grace. I hope you make the social activity of political conversations one open to all voices and free of pretension. On a war beyond their backyard, transactions beyond drug deals, speeches beyond angry outcries demanding violence. We must find ourselves in the pieces of politics and make room for misplaced bits to find their space.